We have 10 household recycling centres in the county and those sites are brilliant because they offer a very, very wide range of opportunities to recycle. Everything from paper and card through to engine oil and car batteries. It's fascinating to see what people put out. I was going to say interesting. <laughs> I've just been having a, a sort out this week. I'm, I'm keen to uh, recycle as much as possible. And it's actually quite therapeutic, squashing plastic and squashing boxes. If you miss a bin, man, that's it. If you don't recycle, you're stuffed. We've got a family of four. Um, we can go four weeks without having to um, have our bin emptied. Now you can recycle pretty much everything you use. I mean, how people can say that their black bin overflows, I don't know, because if they recycled, it wouldn't. There's no way it would. We really want everything possible to be recycled. So we ask people to sort out their waste before they go so they don't have to spend too long actually at the recycling site and also to make sure they put everything into the right containers and bins and that way we can make sure that everything we collect is recycled. Segregate stuff at home and bring it up and you've got it. You know, just make it yeah. part of your life. We always try and combine it with another journey. This is superb. You, you couldn't ask for any more. I mean, it's so well laid out down here. Everything's well signposted. It's safe, very professional. Uh, it's so handy that this is just literally on our doorstep. You know, if I have a little problem, I've got nothing at all to worry about. They really do look after me. There's usually two members of staff at the weekends. There's three members of staff. Keeping the site safe for the public is probably one of the most major elements of our role. Ensuring that reversing lorries are safe and that nobody's going to walk behind them, etc. They're open seven days a week and they collect about half the material that's recycled in the county. Try to go when it's not as its busiest. They are very, very popular, particularly on Saturday and Sunday, and you may find it easier, if you can, to visit during the week and in the summer from April to October the sites are open to seven o'clock in the evening on Wednesday and Thursday evenings to provide a bit more choice for when people can go. If everybody doesn't recycle anything we take them to a landfill site and show them it and they'll be recycling in no time. There's only a finite amount of uh, natural resources on this planet. It really does make a huge amount of difference and it's, it's nice to know that it's going to a good use. I think if you don't recycle, you're, you're damaging the environment for everybody else. Yeah, we've all got to live on this planet, so if we all chipped in to take care of it, then it would be a better place to live. I think it could probably be pretty daunting for someone who hasn't been here before because there is such a degree of segregation of waste. My best advice would be don't be afraid to ask where items go. And we've also got about 300 local bring sites, which are the sort of thing that you find in the supermarket or parish council car park. And they have a range of bins for people to take some of their recycling materials. I don't live far away, so it's just simple to come down, it's down anywhere. But yeah, quite often I, I come here first before I go into the store. I wash the bottles, taking the lid off, squash the bottle, replace the lid and put it away. When we come shopping, we bring the cardboard down. We know we're doing something worthwhile, yeah, I, I do, really seriously do. 